The Houston Dynamo trained for the last time before facing the New York Red Bulls in week two of the 2024 MLS season. The Dynamo coming off advancing in the CONCACAF Champions Cup earlier this week against a fellow MLS club in St. Louis City, uh, advancing on away goals, but they'll have the Columbus crew next. Uh, Actually, the first leg like, next Wednesday. In between, they'll have this match against the Red Bulls. But uh, in between those that series with Columbus, they won't have an MLS game. So this will be uh, a good opportunity for them to get three points, jump up the table. The Red Bulls, obviously, um, considered one of the best academies in, in the league. So we'll have some of the better uh, youth product around the league. But uh, this year, adding Emil Forsberg uh, to that lineup, which uh, will give them a different dimension. Uh, ben Olsen was uh, talking to us about that here in the press conference this week. Um, you know, potentially being dubbed as um, or being dubbed as the best uh, signing for the Red Bulls since that era of Thierry Henry, Rafa Marquez. Uh, so Red Bulls, uh, maybe differently from the ones they faced last year in a one-one draw up there in Harrison, New Jersey. Uh, this will be a 7:30 start time at Shell Energy Stadium. Uh, still no Hector Herrera, who was uh, at the stadium supporting his team earlier this week, but just you know still. Uh, a ways away was using a crutch. Um, still not no exact update, but it was expected that he would miss at least uh, five matches uh, from other reports uh, to the NA, uh, earlier in preseason reporting that. Uh, Sebastian Ferreira, who was uh, who left uh, the first game of the season that CONCACAF Champions Cup first leg uh, with a hamstring, was out here training uh, separately from the team, but it looks like he's making progress back. Probably not for this weekend, but uh, that's one a story to look for and also Griffin Dorsey who fans were wondering about left the game against St. Louis. Um, ben Olsen said he's day to day uh, but again out here training separately from the team so uh, still a few injuries uh, to consider here um, but I mean Basi, Sebastian Kovalkic, uh, Gabriel Siegel um, and Eric Sviachenko guys that have been important recently in in the Dynamo attack or or especially Sviachenko who also does it defensively in leadership uh, those will be uh, pieces that Olsen will be able to count on for this game and of course we'll have all the details on this on DeportesNation.com and our digital platforms uh, two details about this game uh, Houston Sports Night so um, fans will be able to see a few trophies, maybe mascots. Uh, I'm probably invited to use some other sports jerseys from other teams around town as uh, this will be a celebration of all Houston sports and also uh, a celebration in the memory of Maggie McKethan, um, Fox 26 producer and reporter who was, uh, you know, big on the coverage of the Houston Dynamo and Dash, uh, especially over the over the last year and, and coming into this season, um, passed away. I believe last Sunday, and, and that'll be um, also one of the uh, one one of the, you know off-field stories that we will follow around this game, Houston Dynamo against the New York Red Bulls. So um, we'll see you here Saturday, deportesnation.com. Again, all the digital platforms you can follow us on there. And until then, uh, Victor Araiza reporting from Houston Sports Park for Deportes Nation.